From the dawn of classical mechanics to the heights of modern cosmology, physics has relied on a universal language, one that transcends words, culture, and even time. It is the language of quantities, scalars, vectors, and tensors, the silent architects that describe every movement, every field, every curvature of the universe. From Newton's laws that defined force and motion, to Einstein's field equations that bent space-time itself, these mathematical entities have guided our understanding of everything that exists. Before we get too deep into this topic, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This helps to bring more valuable content to the platform for your knowledge and understanding. Remember, knowledge is power. Now back to the episode. A scalar is the most fundamental of all quantities. It has magnitude, but no direction. Temperature, energy, mass, time, all are scalars, described by a single number that conveys the essence of how much. The concept traces back to Isaac Newton, who in Principia Mathematica, 1687, formalized the use of quantities like mass and time as absolute measures. But scalars became truly universal through mathematical formalism introduced in the 19th century by William Rowan Hamilton, who sought to unify geometry and algebra in a single framework. Today, scalars govern not just simple physics, but the thermodynamic energy that powers stars, the electric potentials that drive circuits, and even the quantum probabilities that shape atomic behavior. A vector extends this idea, a quantity with both magnitude and direction, displacement, velocity, force. These are the tools with which we describe motion. The development of vector algebra is owed largely to Josiah Willard Gibbs and Oliver Heaviside, who reformulated James Clerk Maxwell's electromagnetic equations using vector notation in the late 19th century. This single leap transformed physics. Instead of four bulky equations describing electric and magnetic fields, vectors allowed the universe to be expressed in elegant simplicity. Today, vectors describe everything from the airflow over aircraft wings to the magnetic alignment in MRI scanners, the very machines that visualize the human body without a single incision. The mathematics of vectors is rooted in linear algebra, a vector is represented as a column of numbers, a list of coordinates, that can be manipulated through addition, scaling, and transformation. Geometrically, they define directional change in a multidimensional space. When we take derivatives of vectors, we obtain gradients, divergences, and curls, mathematical operations that reveal how fields change in space. These operations are the essence of vector calculus, introduced by Gauss and Stokes, and essential to electromagnetism, fluid dynamics, and quantum field theory alike. But in the 20th century, physicists encountered phenomena that vectors alone could not explain, forces that acted differently in different directions, quantities that changed with perspective. Enter the tensor a multidimensional generalization of vectors and scalars. A tensor can have one, two, or more indices, allowing it to describe relationships that depend on both direction and orientation. The foundations were laid by Gregorio Ricci Curbastro and Tullio Levi-Civita, whose absolute differential calculus gave birth to tensor analysis. It was this mathematical tool that allowed Albert Einstein to express his general theory of relativity, 1915. In Einstein's field equations, Space-time curvature is expressed through a rank-2 tensor, the Einstein tensor, equating geometry and matter. g mu nu equals 8 pi g over c to the fourth power times t mu v. This equation describes how mass and energy tell space-time how to curve, and how curvature tells matter how to move. Tensors gave physics a new lens. The universe was no longer a flat stage, but a dynamic fabric. In quantum field theory, tensors describe spin, polarization, and stress energy fields. In medical imaging, tensor mathematics allows for diffusion, tensor MRI, DTI, mapping the neural pathways of the brain in exquisite detail. In engineering, tensors govern how materials deform under pressure, guiding the design of everything from skyscrapers to spacecraft. 
Each field uses tensors differently, yet they all share one truth. Tensors describe relationships. They show how parts of a system influence one another, the very heart of physics itself. In the quantum world, every particle exists not as a single point, but as a wave function, a probability distribution extending through space. To describe this, physicists employ tensor products, mathematical structures that combine multiple states into a single system. This gives rise to quantum entanglement, where the state of one particle is inseparably linked to another. Tensor mathematics underpins quantum computing, allowing qubits to exist in superpositions that scale exponentially with system size. Research at institutions like MIT and IBM Quantum, Irut et al. 2019, demonstrates how tensor networks are being used to compress quantum information and simulate complex materials. Vectors and tensors now permeate every branch of modern life. Artificial intelligence. Deep neural networks rely on tensor operations, the very reason Google's AI library is named TensorFlow. Climate modeling. Atmospheric tensors describe temperature gradients, pressure systems, and oceanic circulation. Medicine. Tensor analysis in MRI and biomechanical simulations helps predict joint strain, brain connectivity, and cardiovascular flow dynamics. Quantum sensors. Vector field mapping enables ultra-precise navigation and gravitational detection. Even our smartphones rely on vector accelerometers and tensor-based motion algorithms to interpret every gesture and orientation. At their core, scalars, vectors, and tensors represent layers of understanding. Scalars describe how much, vectors describe where and how, and tensors describe how things change when viewed from another frame of reference. This mirrors the evolution of physics itself. From observing the world to describing it, and finally to transforming how we perceive it. As Einstein once noted, pure mathematics is, in its way, the poetry of logical ideas. Every tensor field, every vector map, every scalar equation, together they weave the poetry of the cosmos. From the forces that shape galaxies to the electrical impulses within our cells, the same mathematics defines it all. Scalars tell us energy exists, vectors tell us how it moves, tensors tell us how reality bends to that motion. Understanding these concepts is more than academic. It's a glimpse into the very structure of the universe. Physics is not just about equations. It's about the invisible patterns that hold existence together. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the mathematical fabric of reality, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Leave me a comment. What are your thoughts about how scalars, tensors, and vectors are shaping our modern world? Join us as we continue uncovering the quantum principles that define both the vast cosmos and the energy within you. Because to understand the universe is to understand ourselves.